Hi, I'm Nina Davies and I am a multimedia artist who works with performance, moving image and installation. I'm here at the London Photographers Gallery in front of this, this work of mine called For an Imaginary Page, which started as a workshop um, exercise and was later then turned into uh, moving image works by me. So the stories here are written by a collection of people that I've worked with who are dancers, writers and magicians, uh, which reflects the sort of practices that were happening at the time on TikTok. This work was made in 2020. I'd been like looking at TikTok for the past couple of years previous to that and I was interested in sort of the worlds that are built through all the individual pieces of content that you see in TikTok and at the time that I was just playing around on TikTok I was reading a book call, called Can the Left Learn to Meme? And the author, Mike Watson, uh, uses, uses this example of, I guess, talk about memes and if you put all the memes made by individual people together, it might be saying something more insightful about the times we live in now. And so this is what I did with this project here, was asking people to choose 10 TikToks in the order the algorithm has presented them and then try and write a story and link them together to create a grander narrative um, out of these individual seemingly uh, not linked pieces of information. I wouldn't say that I um, came from a background of making memes or a specific interest in meme culture. Um, what I was interested in as a dancer um, was the sort of resurgence of dance practices in popular culture um, in online spaces, primarily TikTok. But I would say before TikTok, uh, YouTube was also really popular dance related content. Um, and I think I was sort of interested in this shift of a social dance practice happening, coming away from nightclubs and I wanted to further investigate that. In my work, I like to look at the dance practices or trends seen on platforms like TikTok. I like to try and consider these dances as if they were traditional dances of the future. A lot of my work will sometimes look at dances that maybe they're sort of not trending anymore, but I think they all build up a sort of language that is very unique to our time and I think the styles of dances are very much um, made for the phone. When we take a step out outside of the dances we'll see that they'll probably over time that there'll be some unifying features of these sort of styles of movement uh, in the future but right now I think we're right in the middle of it so it's probably harder to to see.